We are here today at Goodwill. It's been a few days since we last visited the Goodwill. But we're here to see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. So let's go. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wave Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, we came at just the right time because they are currently restocking. Um, but we're gonna start here in the brown aisle. I was noticing this up here. I know Dagny picked up some chalkware pieces not that long ago. This one seems to be in pretty good condition. Um, I don't know how she ended up selling hers. It's really not that heavy. But it does look like there's damage here. I just noticed so that's kind of a bummer. I think because of that, I'll probably leave it behind. I mean, it's not terrible, but I'm not sure. You know what, for $3.99, we'll grab it. That can actually be shipped. It's not It's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. I wonder if there was supposed to be a light in there, maybe. Let your light shine. That's kind of a sweet little trinket box. It's $2.99. I don't think there's any uh, markings under the sticker there. I mean, we usually get 18 to $24 for trinket boxes, so uh, for only $2.99, we'll put that in there. Let's see what we can find that's blue. This little blue J piece has been here for quite a while for $2.99, a little tea light. Homeland Center. First, I thought this was the Coryville piece we saw the other day, but it's not. It's a little different. I'm not sure what Homeland Center is. I noticed that the Christmas is getting replaced with brown. So I figured we'd come over here and check it out. Uh, they've got a brown drip um, photograph. It doesn't have its lid. This up here it looks like Pioneer Woman. Yes, it is Pioneer Woman. You know what? That mug I saw might have also been Pioneer Woman. Utensils. It's a utensil crock. It's $4.99. I don't know. I, I, every time I come across Pioneer Woman, I pass it up. And a lot of my viewers are like, you should have picked that up. It's collectible. Um, so why not give it a shot? And we'll, uh, we'll see how it does. There's no chips or cracks on it. And it is a pretty piece. She kind of has a very um, vintage style to her work so we'll stick that in there that's a really fun sled I think it's probably decorative it's $9.99 <laughs> it's neat though nice Christmas decor probably nothing I could do anything with um, this is actually what attracted me down the aisle because I was like hey look at that old trunk it's um it looks dirty, but it's actually like a faux leather. It has somebody's name on it. It's in pretty rough shape, unfortunately. So, um, and it is $14.99. This guy looks vintage. <laughs> this sweet duck. I don't see any markings on it. $4.99. It might also be a goose. I'm not really sure. Kind of reminds me of the bluebo geese that are popular. <laughs> I love the pink on it. I think he could do alright. He's probably a buy it now piece at $4.99. But he appears to be vintage. He's got some age to him. We've got quite the eclectic mix in our cart today, don't we? Jesus and Goose and a little bit of Pioneer Woman. There's a cool piece. This vase is pretty neat. I think it's a museum replica. Let's see what it says. Yep, copy of the museum, handmade. It's got the little tag there. That's just that. Um, $9.99, okay. So maybe that's not for us, unfortunately, at $9.99. It is a neat piece, though. I like the scenes on it. This bag was $1.99. I'm really digging that puppy dog there. He's signed. He's a magnet. Fridge magnet. I could always use another fridge magnet. 
A little bit of cooking. This is ashtray. It's another ashtray. Oops. A little bit of cast iron. There's a lamp in the bottom. Alright, I'm not seeing a whole lot in there for us. There's quite a few large artwork pieces in this bin. Not a large one, it's definitely a statement piece, but I don't know what we would do with it. Today, even though they are restocking, I might wait it out a little bit and see if um, anything new hits the shelves. Here's some painted milk glass. Kind of a goofus style, but I think uh, somebody just decided one day that they wanted to paint their milk glass. I don't think that's actually like a factory job, so um, it's cool that they're matching though. Matchy matchy. Oh, and here's another that goes with it. We should put those together so they don't get separated. <laughs> there you go. Looks like it's made in Japan. They've got $1.99 on that. That's probably eight to 12 bucks. They have those. Spoon rest. It's kind of kitschy. $1.99. I guess you could also hang it if you wanted to. There's no chips or cracks. Hmm. I might buy this. I'll leave the kitty cat behind. I'll take the spoon rest. Here we've got a Indiana glass bowl for $6.99. I just had one of these sell uh, buy it now in my shop for $20. They usually sell between 18 and 24, so I'm at 6.99. I don't think we're gonna bother with that. This looks like another museum replica, possibly just a souvenir. Maybe it's really an ancient document. I don't know. St. Peter's. I feel like we've looked at this a few times, but it is just a print. I know some prints can be valuable, but I don't get the feeling that that one really is. Well, I actually noticed the Tupperware first because we use this at my house. Um, the kids are always breaking glasses, so finally I'm like, you know what? Just like when I was a kid, you're going to use Tupperware. But then this caught my eye for $4.99. I suspect it is a reproduction biscuit jar. I don't think... Oh look, there you go, made in China. <laughs> Hadn't even turned it over yet. Um, how much do you want? $4.99. I feel like even as a reproduction, I could probably get 18 to 24 as long as there's no chips or cracks. And it looks to be in pretty good condition. Just have to sell it as a reproduction. There we go. Well, I think that's everything for us today. Unfortunately, we didn't have the best of luck today, but you just never know what you're going to find. Um, I think I'm going to move on now, but I'm going to get back to you in the car with my total spend. Well, we didn't have the best of luck at Goodwill today. Our total spend was $28. We got a Jesus statue, some Pioneer Woman, and a biscuit jar that is a reproduction. But um, those are all things that I can still resale. Nothing of extreme value. Uh, but I think it's really about timing at this Goodwill. That's what I found out. It's about timing um, and when you get here and who else is there. And there's a lot of factors that go into it. Today was just not our day. But I did run into a viewer who found some really amazing Viking uh, right before I got there. So there is potential. It's just when you, when you get it. Um, so on that note, I was going to drive and go find an antique mall. Possibly an hour away but I just don't feel like going very far today so Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne is right down the road and I think that's where we're heading today. We're gonna go there and see what we can find so I'll see you when I get there. Well the last time I was here I only had 45 minutes and a dying camera battery so uh, I feel like we missed a lot of stuff 
last visit and we're gonna find it today. Well, this booth here is 20% off. I feel like we didn't have the opportunity to look through here the last time, um, but we did find a lot of amazing Christmas stuff here right before uh, Christmas. And it looks like they've got these really neat canister sets back here. I'm thinking they're hobbyist pieces though. They're kind of interesting. What does it say? Pixie. Um, I can't read that. Creamer? Yeah, Pixie Creamer. Looks like a sugar bowl though. Anyway, um, I see a crack on one of them and I, there's some damage. I always give these a shake to see if there's a trinket inside, but unfortunately this one is missing its trinket. And then we have lots of goodies over here. I had wanted to check out that salt glaze. What is that? I know I know that mark. Is that Beaumont? Oh, Beaumont. Yes, Beaumont Brothers Pottery. All right. Becky was showing me her booth earlier, and she is running a 20% off sale. Uh, she was actually showing me this tumbler um, and asking if it was Talavera, and I do believe it is Talavera with those bright, fun colors. She's got 22 on that. She does also have a 20% off sale. That is a really fun picture. That one's also Talavera. Turn it so they can see the tag. She has twenty dollars on that, plus twenty percent off. I really love the moon and stars design, so I think we'll take that. This is also over here, Spanish lady, Espana. I didn't realize she was a bell. I thought she was a butter bell. She's twelve dollars. She kind of has a stern look on her face. Look at this. This is Rooster Pottery Jar of Vase. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to attempt that one. But I love the roosters. 25, 20% off, so that's $5 off. It would be 20 bucks. Maybe we'll pass on that one. But this owl kind of reminds me to Gary. Peekaboo Owl. I think this may have been a set of um, See No Evil, Speak No Evil, Hear No Evil. Isn't that how it goes? Uh, I think that's probably what that is. And last but not least, I wanted to look at these pieces because I really love the colors. They're, I was going to say they're probably Mexico, but um, Arte Artesia they're marked. Um, there's a creamer and a sugar, and then it looks like there is also a dish. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'll set these guys up here to check out the dish. I like the design. It reminds me of uh, like a Sasha Brastop, a very mid-century looking design. It's probably a gazelle. That one is marked as well, but I don't think I'm gonna have any luck with that. In any case, it is $20, 20% off. And I feel like that's a neat piece. It's not exactly matchy-matchy with the creamer or sugar, so I think we'll just take the dish and leave the creamer and sugar behind. I was walking by Kenny's booth and just happened to notice these Miller Lite bottles and I was thinking, what in the world? Why is he charging $70 for a Miller Lite bottle? And I realized it says black drunk squirrel. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and it's probably not that funny, but I think I just about died when I read that. This is a pretty art pottery bowl. It's four bucks and it has this leaf design on it. I'm not sure if they used an actual leaf to make that, but the detail is pretty awesome on that. So uh, we will take that with us. Only four bucks plus he runs a discount. I think it's 20% off. There's some treasure craft dancers there. <laughs> Still love this face jug right here. This is fantastic. Down here we've got all the lucite. Look at that. 
$95 for this set plus 20% off. You know, I've walked past this before um, quite a few times, but I don't think I ever noticed that there was candlesticks to go with it. So the fact that they're all one grouping and they're 20% off. I know Lucite candles have been selling really well, but I haven't actually seen them solid pink a lot of the times I come across them and they're uh, flaked like gold or silver. So um, I think we might take this set today with us. It's very mid-century. Okay, I know what happened. I think I was confusing that set with this light right here. This is a uh, Lucite grape light. He's got 155 on that. So I'm just not sure. I may, I, I'll look it up. I don't think I've ever seen that before, so I'm not just not really sure about it. Well, it looks like he's right on the mark uh, for retail at 155. Granted, it is 20% off, but I don't think that's enough profit um, left for us. So I'm gonna pass on it, but um, it's definitely a deal at 20% off. There is a puppy dog lurking back there. He looks familiar like we've looked at him before, but I think I'm going to reach for him real quick. So he is a bank, as is $9. Maybe we did look at him and we were like, oh, as is. I don't know, though. There's nothing really there that's a deal breaker for me as far as as is goes. There's a little cracking there on the handle. Like somebody was maybe a little aggressive when putting their coins in there. <laughs> but $9, 22% off. Can hang out in there. I like this vase, ceramic flower vase. Hmm. Rising sun mark. I'm not really familiar with that, but it appears to have some age. This is a nice piece. I love the florals. Um, eighteen dollars. I don't think that JT is running a sale, but um, for eighteen, I feel like we can make some money on that. Well, I've never really been into tin types and photography before. Just recently, I resold my very first photographs, but I was walking by and noticed this. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you guys. And I thought, oh my gosh, is that not the cutest little child in the whole world? And the clarity of it is just amazing. It was so well cared for. Uh, the ones I found were pretty beat up. Now he's got $165 on that. Um, so I think it's a little outside our price range. Cloisonne jar here. Japan Cloisonne. 1915, $38. It's got a little hole in the lid. I don't know if maybe it had a finial. And it's missing that. The, the um, enamel seems to be in pretty decent condition. And it's $38. But the butterflies, the florals. I know cloisonne for me has always just been hit or miss. <laughs> sometimes it does very well and uh, sometimes hmm, not so well. But um, I, I still haven't figured out any rhyme or reason to it. But I like this piece. I think it's got some age to it. It does have a little bit of damage. I found that the older cloisonne usually does. Oh, it's a sweet little decorative piece. We'll take it. This is a beautiful Raku vase, and at first I thought that it was metal, and I didn't realize it was even Raku. But it's got this beautiful copper color. Can't really read the bottom because of the felt stairs, except it was 2000 something. Look at that copper color. Wow. And it is pottery, it's not actually copper. Inside has a cool design as well. Let's see if we can get the light to shine in there. And that's a really neat piece. We didn't even look at the price though. Let's see what we got. $25. $25 and 25% off. I think I will. I know I've looked at this piece before and the last time I saw it, I actually thought it was a lampshade because of this lip. I thought that it was an open lampshade. I think this is the first time I've actually pulled it out to discover that it is a vase. $38, 20% off. The bottom is a little cloudy, but it looks good to me. 
I like that opalescence. So I think the time has finally come. I have been eyeing up these candlesticks every time I've entered this booth for forever. And uh, today I'm looking at them a little bit closer. They are $145. They are 25% off. They really gave me um, Michael Aram vibes. I mean, he does a lot with this um, silver plate and the, the gold. And uh, it's that's obviously not what it says here. You can see it is marked. I'll get it to focus for you. I can't. I tried looking up the mark. I couldn't figure it out. I thought it said Freddy. I don't think that's what it says. Um, maybe freely. Ooh, I don't know. But in any case, I think today I'm going to grab them. I think these are, I buy it now because they'll be close to $100 still. Um, and I don't know. I think I'll list them as buy it now. And uh, we'll give them a shot. This booth is kind of hidden in the corner, so I almost missed it. Uh, but they are running a 30% off sale. And we've got this bowl. It's a nice cranberry bowl. Bolaconte, it'll be great for Valentine's Day. That's what I'm thinking. I guess uh, I'm all, I've got Valentine's Day on the mind. Pink and reds, there you go. This one is 25, so we're looking at that. Check out all of the moon and stars. And it's also 30% off. It's a compote, it's as is. I wonder if the edges are chipped. That seems to always be the problem that people put the lid down too hard and the edges get chipped. Hmm. I think if there was more blue, I would probably consider it, but I don't see any blue. I see one back there, but it's just a compote. Here on the wall is a Czech wall pocket. Let's see, Czechoslovakia. $20, 30% off. Last time I found one of these, their uh, beak was chipped, so that was kind of like, eh, I don't know. But this one seems to be in good condition. So we'll grab a little check birdie. Some of the check birds, depending on the species they represent, can be worth very good money. Well, their total spend today at Lemoyne was $362. I feel like we got a few high, higher-end pieces that are going to do very well, um, just depending on the format that we decide to list them. Um, I did want to remind everyone before I sign off that I am having a meet-and-greet here at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne on February 26th. 2022 from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. So if you're in the area and want to swing by, I will be here um, during those times. And I'm actually, I'm, I'm getting more excited about it. So I'm not as nervous. But anyway, uh, we're going to get out of here now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see all of you tomorrow. So. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.